Valley Club Update 8.1 has officially arrived for most players. And the best news of all, after months and months, the annoying red dot is finally gone. In this video, we're going to discuss the best changes brought about by Update 8.1. And there is a brand new promo code for more gold, more training modules, more power cores. And if you're ready for that all, then you need to do Valley Club. Find that like button and let's go smash it. And welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying. I hope your day is going great. And I hope you're enjoying Update 8.1. One. We're going to discuss the best things of uh, update 8.1 and we got a brand new promo code so you get some free stuff And before we get to all that stuff if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content We have at least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on the channel Usually we have more especially during update weeks like this where we have a bunch of Envoy videos and update 8.1's rolling release began a few days ago It says here May 21st, but people started getting this update on May 20th and it should last until May 23rd. So if the update is not live in the game for you, it should be there soon. And as we jump back into the game, I wanna start with one of the best quality of life changes that we've got. As we remove the camera and we go into the game, this annoying red dot that was over the inbox for months and months and months, it is now finally gone. So I think that is the best part of the update for me. We also got some other quality of life changes uh, in this raid store, the awakened abilities that they were selling. Well, now if you have them maxed out, it is going to be gray like this. So that is a good thing. It's not going to be this blue box. It's going to be a gray box. So hopefully now you don't make any errors looking back and buying these awakened abilities. Hopefully you don't buy anything maxed out now that this is grayed out. We also have some changes to the raids. If we go into the raids, one thing that is affecting all the raids is this max energy. As you see right here, the max energy for the Greek raids went up to 60. The max energy for the big raids, Incursion, Doom, or whatever you're in, went up to 60 as well. And we also got more raid sim. Now, if we look at the Greek raids, We've had this many sims for a while. If we go in here now and there are 16 total sims that we could do. Not like that for the incursion arrays, or at least the highest level that incursion arrays, but they should add more sims all the way up to 16 for the first strike of the incursion arrays. Also some of the other incursion raid two difficulties, but I don't think they're adding this to the highest difficulty, difficulty three of the incursion raids. Uh, if we look at the sims that we have available, it's still only 10. Now, as we jump into the actual raid, one of the major changes we see is the way all these buffs and debuffs are stacked as we see now kid loki he has three death proofs two defense ups previously this would just stack and stack and stack be very very messy and sometimes it would be very hard to see what buffs we actually have what buffs we don't have and uh, especially because a lot of regenerations a lot of bleeds now this is gone so let's uh yeah so this is a great thing so no matter if you're in a raids or arena hopefully this new visualization of what we're seeing when we're in battle is a lot easier for you to understand and you can see exactly what the enemies have and don't have and what you have and don't have and hopefully it makes the combat a lot easier for you and a new season of cosmic crucible is beginning in just two short days and to celebrate scopely is doing an envoy tournament it went down wednesday the 22nd 12 p.m bunch of content creators participated in this to showcase the new rules i was not able to participate just because uh, that three hour stream in the middle of the day was a little tough for my schedule but hopefully the next one i can participate now the good thing about this tournament well scopely gave us some rewards uh and there's a new player gift if you're not sure how to get to this screen you go to your main navigation section and check this part the new player uh gift and the code is cc envoy all caps you can only use this once so if you've already used this code well you you won't be able to use this again so let's go redeem this you can see what we get and as with all these codes sometimes it takes a while for them to work and after our fifth attempt of trying to enter this we finally got our gift three million gold 200 power cores 250 l4 training modules so make sure you redeem this and if it doesn't work the first time make sure you keep trying and in case you didn't see the video that i did earlier today with mobile gamer about all the new cosmic crucible rules let me go over it really really quickly new gold global rule is cabal of evil on offense and defense cabal characters will count as masters of evil so yeah the strong cabal masters of evil combo is going to get even stronger uh room one on offense and defense all characters on turn clearing vulnerable from self and heals 20 percent of max health for each vulnerable effect removed this way characters were vulnerable will gain 25 per percent resistance in room two on offense and defense all characters on turn gain bleed and with bleed they're going to gain five percent damage per bleed and when applying bleed they're going to gain defense up 
in room three on offense and defense all characters when successfully hit this target has exposed perform a basic attack against that target and characters with exposed have 20 minus 20 percent resistance uh room four on offense and defense all characters on turn all negative effects are going to be clearing from that character then they're going to gain defense down offense down slow and disrupted room five on offense and defense and villain characters on spawn are going to gain revive once at 50 percent max health and room six on offense defense all characters after using an ultimate ability spread all positive effects to all adjacent allies ultimate abilities cost two less so let me know what you think of those new cosmic crucible season rules are you looking forward to this or do you like what we had in season seven few issues that i did want to update you on penny parker star red stars were added to the elite store last week and for a short period of time her diamonds were also unintentionally made available the team swiftly removed the penny diamonds from the store as her leaderboard ended recently and there's meant to be a period of time between when the diamonds are available in the elite store so players can expect the same with Panapool, as his diamonds will not be added to the Elite Store immediately after his leaderboard event, which is going on right now. Also, Old Man Logan's Awakened abilities were contained in an offer that appeared after a player unlocked Dokken. Some players may have missed the opportunity to acquire them. The team is reviewing the data and will send Old Man Logan Awakened abilities to players who qualified to purchase at least two Dokken Shard offers before the end of the week. Thank you for your patience while we look into these issues. Now, one thing that I did want to see change in this update that is still not changed is the return of the Open All Aura button. It was back a few weeks ago. It was disabled again because it was still causing stability issues now the most recent communication we have is we understand how this feature is desired among the players and we want to bring it back again we'll investigate these issues and formulate a plan once we know more we'll update you and hopefully that update comes during 8.1 and we get the updates during this update the return of the button but what we did get during this update is the, all the new characters that four new characters added during this update Dokken was here Mephisto was here but we have Guardian in the game right now one of the members of the Alpha Flight for the raids and war defense we also have Nordstar I think this guy is going to be the linchpin of the team every character has or every team has one character that really stands out I think it's going to be Nordstar just by looking at his kit we also have old man logan another new character part of the merc for money team which was mostly released back in 8.0 but his event is coming up in just a few short days so hopefully you have your cabal on time ready i do think he's going to have a lot of arena value and value outside of just the merc for money and outside of war so yeah this will be a very strong character hopefully you can get to unlock and build them up as big as possible and last but not least rounding out the alpha flight is sasquatch let me know which of these new characters you are looking forward to the most arriving during this update so that is what has been changed since update 8.1 dropped hopefully you like these quality life changes let me know what your favorite one is and are there any that i missed that are that are really really helping you right now and hopefully you enjoy that new code and uh yeah like i said if it didn't work the first time make sure you keep trying because it does it did, did take me like five attempts to get that stuff and hopefully you got some value from this video if you did leave it a like it is free for you and it helps out the channel tremendously and if you want to see what to do to beat every single meta team that doesn't have mephisto in arena right now check out the video up there and i'll see you guys next time have a great rest of your day hulk fist bump valley flying out